Welcome to Civilization 6, I'm Magican and I want to show you this time about the encampment district. And the encampment district is one of the easiest to place because you don't get any bonus, you don't get anything at all. But you also have to be careful when you place it, always be careful when you place things because you have three areas out. So if you think that you have like some areas you think, oh this is great to build on but they are too far out, maybe it can wait uh, some turns to, to get that area. Uh, like here I'm Russia and they get an extra in Tundra but that's one of the ones that doesn't give me so much as you can see. So I'm building that district here. And it's also a good one you can use as attack or defense route. You can actually attack two fields from this. So one, two, it can attack when there's an enemy unit inside that. And one, two here. You cannot attack the mountains. You cannot cross the mountains either. So it can also attack the other way around. One, two here and one, two here. So if enemy units are in this area, you will be able to attack and also on the water. That's quite good. And uh, when we look at the way you can build it, you can actually build a barrack, a stable, armory and military academy. That's all you can build in this. It will give you production. And it's not only to uh, military units, it also gives production to everything you built. But military units you get experience. If you have the barracks, you will get experience to all range and melee units. That is not like later in the game like tanks because that's rated heavy cavalry unit and modern ATA is also a cavalry unit. Rocket artillery will be able to. Mechanized infantry also. Mobile Sam, no, that's support unit. So you have to figure out what you want and how you can get it. And uh, you have the opportunity to build all these units here, not the water units, but you also have to figure out what you want to build in those areas. And um, I like to build the barracks because it takes fewer turns and I could get my range units. And in this duty game, I uh, use a lot of range units to, to hammer the enemy to get more out of it. Else, the stable and barracks is the same. It's totally the same. It's just, will you want to have range and melee units? Then take the barracks. If you want to have cavalry units like tanks or cavalry, other cavalry units, then take the stable. Else, it's the same one production, one housing, one sit slot, and one great admiral points per turn. So you cannot build both, so you have to choose. And later on, then you get the armory. It's also 25% experience for all land units trained in the city, so that doesn't matter if it's what it is artillery, tanks. Anything. That's all land units, also support units like like the mobile SAM unit. That's a support unit. That's against anti-aircraft. So uh, class, it also shows you in promotion class, the third line, support unit. And here, seat unit. So you choose that. And you get two production, one citizen slot, and one great admiral point. And it requires a stable building or a barrack. It just says stable building this time, but it doesn't matter really. It actually requires one of them both. One of them. And later you get military academy. And that's also get 25% combat experience for land unit trained to this. And faster corps and army training. Corps and armies, that's just... I will get into that later in our tutorial, but let's see. Production, you get free production, but look at the gold. You also get four gold on this, so it's quite good to have. It helps you to have these gold uses uh, maintenance, one, and two, that's three, and this is two, that is five. So you one, and three, and five, so it will cost only one goal to have these three barracks or stable armory and military academy and it will give you one housing also so look at the housing that's also good a military academy so you don't have to go after housing one of the other areas that also give housing is actually the is the harbor 
that also give housing and trade route, but that takes another in another tutorial. So, um, and you also need military academy uh, for uh, for the experience, and you can also use it to to get you uh, extra uh, building. Let's show you here military academy. You can first build them when you get later on in the game. And let's see where it is. Here you got the factory and down here, military science. And then you get the military academy. So it's not in the beginning of the game, as you can see. You you actually get it a little bit later. And it will take a little time to get. And you can also see it requires uh, armory and encampment. But let's start from the beginning when you can get it. The district you can get at Bronx working. So um, you need to have Bronx working before you can get the district. And then you have the stable here. When you have horseback riding. Or you can actually build the barracks right away. So you also have to go up if you want to have the little bit faster units. The cavalry units you actually need the horseback riding. And then you get the armory. That's the workshop. Armory is here. Military engineering. That's the way you get the armory. And um, you need that, of course, before you move on. So it takes some time to get up here. Military academy. But as you can see, it's the lower part you have to build. But sometimes it goes into each other. So you need to build other areas too. But that's about the district. About how you get a district and what to get out of the district. And this is the only district. Uh, that's actually one more aerodrome. But this is the only district in the beginning of the game where you don't have to think where you place it, except place it the most bad location you can find where it gives you the least of goods. And sometimes it should be out on the third line. But if you have like up here, you don't place it right here with all these food areas because they are actually intertwined with each other. So you be careful of placing them where you where you need them at least, and also place them as you can see up here. I have placed one here with Kassan because Nantes actually also placed it there, so I could have a unit inside of it. That's the last thing I will talk about is the unit inside. You can actually have like I have here field cannon, it's late in the game, but the field cannon is because I have a lot of experience. So I have extra shot. Uh, and it will not attack the cannon, it will attack the district. And the district can also shoot, as I said at the beginning, but it can shoot all over. You can see that district, I shut that down when the French attack me. And uh, it takes a long time, you can see you have the health 100 and fortification 200. So I can stand in and shoot from this area and shoot over the line and not worry about that before the district goes down. Uh, then I will worry about my unit. So you will have like a sanctuary here to shoot at. And you can also shoot around the areas here. And I have two now. That helped me last time with the, the French attack me. So that's it about the district, about the encampment district. And thank you for watching this little tutorial. And see you on the next.